Who is she? I know, right? I look fabulous. Although I also feel there is something missing for my outfit. Something on top of my hat. Even outrageous Victorious and Edwardians who just wear cycling sweater as they wear <laughs> the scandal wore something on their hat. And I found just the project to do that. I found this pattern for a 1894 Tam O'Shanter. But we do not live in 1894. Now, do we? No, we do live in 2023. So let's put a 2023 spin on the 1894 Tam O'Shanter. More specifically, let's make a Tam O'Shanter in the Pantone color of 2023. Viva Magenta! So yes, friends, together with some other fiber arts creators, I am tackling the Pantone Challenge 2023. Now, what are we going to do? Well, yes, we are going to make it Hemoshanter. And how are we going to make it magenta? With the help of some creepy crawlers. A little over a year ago, I think, I bought this little bag of cochineal. And cochineal are bugs. They sit on the prickly pear cactus in Mexico. And when you die with them, you get a very vibrant red. Now, don't get the word cochineal confused with the French cochinelle, because I do not want you to start dying with ladybugs, because that will not, not work. Trust me, I haven't tried it. But as we have so little of it, and it is actually quite expensive, I am going to turn my methods upside down. Normally, I would just brew up a batch of dye, put some fluff in there, and then spin the colored fluff. Today we first are going to spin the yarn we need, weigh that yarn and then weigh exactly how much cochineal we need for this project and then brew up our dye. Now which 1894 pattern am I talking about? It is the Tam O'Shanter pattern which you can find in the full direction and scales for knitting socks, stockings, babies, coats, dolls and seamless things etc. Over 430 patterns, sizes and sorts by Henrietta Warley authoress of number two full directions and scales for knitting gloves etc and number three full direction for knitting over 140 edges circles etc seventh edition very much enlarged again a lot of the writing here is practically chinese to me because we use different ways of measuring and counting so we need four needles number 10 and then two and a half ounces of double berlin also, the sizes are really weird in this one. It says size one or two or three. And then for dolls, um, the only thing I, I see here where I can do anything with is fingering. I know how to spin a fingering weight yarn. And then we can um, try and calculate how many two and a half ounces of wool is in grams because weirdo with your ounces. 70.8 grams. Okay, let's do that. Let's, um, let's try and spin 70.8 grams of fingering weight yarn. So, let's start spinning. Or well, let's first start combing the floof we have. And the floof we have is this here Flemish sheep. Surprise, surprise. This has been drying for a couple of days after I scoured and washed it. Beautiful, beautiful floof. Now let's make some bird's nest out of it. Can I seduce you with a scrumptious looking plateau of buns? High on fiber, low on calories. And to spin this project, I am trusting on my friend Gillian over here. My Louette S71, who has served me greatly during Tour de Vlies. And as we are making a very similar yarn today, she is the perfect wheel. Put on her drive band, maybe, and uh, ugh, don't put your fingers between it. <coughs> Let's go!
You know, in Dutch we have a saying, zelfstuf stinkt, which literally translates to self-praise stinks. But I am going to say it. I am going to say it. This is gorgeous yarn. Absolutely stunning. You know, I am a advocate for using local yarns and local sheep. So Belgians, why the fuck aren't we using Flemish sheep more? But I have lamented about that in another video. Back to the Tamo Shantern. I have just put this skein on my kitchen scales and it is approximately 90 grams. I need to do some calculations and my brain isn't working right now. So let's take my cell phone. And it is 180 meters. For once on this channel, <laughs> it's the first time. Let's write that down because we will need that to know how much dye stuff we need to make this a beautiful magenta. But first I will tell you that I spun up a little bit more of the exact same yarn because off camera I had quite some anxiety about the yardage that I had, even though I know 90 grams is 20 grams more than the pattern asked. I don't know, I was not feeling very comfortable about 180 meters, so I spun some 75 meters extra. Now this will make 130 grams. This is also a much better weight to gauge how much cochineal we need, because for this cane alone I would need somewhere between 2.7 and 4.5 grams and I do not have scales that are precise enough to do that. If we combine the two we need approximately 5 to 6.5 grams which I guess is approximately a teaspoon. I took out two birds with one stone which is I soothe my anxiety about the yardage and I also made my life a little bit more easy when it comes to gauging the cochineal. I have dissolved some alum in my dye pot. We are going to mordant these canes and while we do that we are going to crush some bugs. Look at that color already. So the instructions I am following for dyeing with cochineal, which I will link in the description if you want to follow along, um, now say that after the cochineal has been boiling for 10 to 15 minutes, which it has done now, um, to strain it and then start afresh. I don't really have a coffee filter or anything, so I'm going to try with some paper towels. I hope this works and otherwise what we have here will be our dye bath, um, but let's go. like the, the thing I need to have in my paper towel is still in my dye pot, so that's ideal. Yeah, there wasn't any cochineal left for the paper towel to catch, it was all still in the pot, ideal. But we can have a good view of what color our dye pot would make now. And um, it's not yet magenta enough, it's very, very pink. This is a really cool color, but we want it to be darker. So let's um, boil some more of the same cochineal. I refreshed the dye bath three times. I now put it all together back in one pot. 
I feel like we have now sufficient enough dye to ha let the yarn float freely. So, time to put the yarn in. So friends, my yarn has been taking color for approximately as long as the knitting podcast I was watching on YouTube. <laughs> it's looking very, very vibrant, so we'll rinse it out and then I can show you what color we have and if we in any way have come close to the Pantone 2023 color Viva Magenta. The rinsed yarn is now drying outside on my tree. It is a slightly colder toned color than the Pantone 2023 color Viva Magenta but it is certainly magenta so we will leave this to dry away from direct sunlight and um, then we can start knitting now for the rest of the cochineal dye it will not go to waste I have got some pre mordant fluff and we'll just play with it and the results you will probably see in a future video. So stay tuned for that. Maybe subscribe if you haven't already. Just as I thought, it's knitting o'clock. Cast three stitches onto each of the first two needles and two on the third, making a total of eight. It's giving me serious flashbacks. Well, let's go for it. I'm not struggling, you are struggling. The thing with this knitting pattern is that you've got no picture, so you don't really know what it's going to look like eventually. And I've seen instructions like making ribbon holes. Interesting. So some technicalities about the knitting. I chose my two and a half millimeter needles to uh, knit it even though the pattern gives like a plethora of possible needle sizes you could possibly use a four needle size 10 or needles 11 or needles 12 or 13 or even 14 so the pattern actually really depends on what needles you choose to use because the pattern says increase thus every other round till there are 20, 22 or 24 stitches in every division, making a total of 160, 176 or 192. So I will kind of just guess at the end how big my circle is, if I have to go for 20, 22 or 24 stitches. I think I am right now in the gauge of doing it with the 22 stitches, but we'll see. I have put my work on a circular needle for a moment just to check how the circle is growing when lying flat because on my three little needles it was puckering up so I couldn't see how big it actually is. We are now at uh, the 20 stitches per, I don't know, increase, repeat. It looks like this. It's getting quite a good tam.
bigness. Oh my god, my Dutch is completely screwing over my English now. Size. That is the word. Size. So yeah, let's continue. The Pantone challenge was accepted and I think I quite succeeded. I am really happy with this. Even though you might say, Jens, this is not exactly the Viva Magenta color. This is a lot more leading towards purple. But then again, it is a magenta verse. If you Google the color, there are multiple iterations of it. So I think mine also just falls within that magenta verse somewhere of course because anxieties are completely irrational like that i still have a lot of this yarn left over so there will be more magenta stuff in the future so more on the color outcome of my magenta experiment i think if i would have over dyed it with matter that would have come like the perfect magenta but I was experimenting with it with the leftover dye bath and I would have used a lot of matter to uh, get the color I wanted and I just thought that that wasn't worth it and I called this one good enough. I also must admit that my fingers are really really pink after knitting all this yarn. Um, so my washing wasn't really thorough, I need to wash this hat again to get more of the dye out of there, um, maybe also block it. Didn't do that before filming because I was too excited of course. Now let's sit down and talk about the pattern for a little bit because I didn't mention a lot about it while vlogging. So now that we are wrapping up, let's do it right now. So in my opinion, the full direction and scales for knitting socks, stockings, babies, coat, dolls and semen things, etc. over 430 patterns, sizes and sorts by Henrietta, Wal <coughs> by Henrietta Warley actually is a great starting point for getting into historic knitting. Because even though some of the instructions are a bit confusing or lacking, like the pattern for this time, O'Shanter, never, ever in the entire text that it had, mentioned that I should bind off. So the book presumes you already have a basic knowledge about knitting, that you should bind off your things when they're finished, for example. But besides that, it is actually quite clear because it is written to be understood by school children. They are actually exercises for school children. Every Garment also has instructions to make it for your dolls. So if you want to venture into historic knitting and feel like a schoolgirls or a schoolboys level is where you're at with this, it's also more than 100 pages long with 430 patterns, so a plethora to choose from. I also personally strayed a bit from the pattern. It says to use a narrow ribbon in the ribbon holes. I made an I-cord. 
it's not specifically said that you should do that, but I thought, well, since I have all this yarn still left over, why not? And it also said to put a tassel on top. I made a little I-cord nib, nope. I don't know how you would call this in English. Um, it's probably more suited for a beret than a tam o shanter, but I just wasn't feeling like a tassel or a pompon personally. This challenge taught me that color is a great way to blend the historic and today. A 1894 hat with a 2023 color. Yeah, that's actually just ingenious, I think. I really, really loved this challenge put by my fellow content creators of the fiber arts niche. And I am quite happy to now also have period accurate headwear to wear with my cycling sweater and fan, fan tail skirt. Just like with my sweater, I feel like an actual Victorian, but with more basic human rights. And now all that rests for me to say is check out my fellow content creators, what they did with Magenta. And if you like these kind of fiber shenanigans, then maybe you could like, comment or subscribe, but that is all up to you. And I will see you in a next video. Bye. So friends, my yarn. So more on the color of my magenta, except